Go take a little trip It's as the future with me Go take a little dip Go take a little dive Get that energy right We gon' get it together Cause the car, the cars The key clarity The cars, the cars The key with me Good YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Toyo and I'm here to do a pick a car reading. So this is going to be what makes you stand out. Hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for the like and subscribes thus far. And let's get into the video, okay? Pile one, what makes you stand out? And I did do channel messages for each pile. Um, I did pick up on a few names and places, and they don't necessarily have to resonate. Now, this could be you guys' name, or some of you guys, this could be the people who eyes that you're catching, okay? Um, but we got Taylor. Um, I underlined Tay, so Taylor, but names that have Tay in them, okay? It could be any name, Tavia, Tayshawn, things like that, okay? We got Kyrie. Um, I got Baker. Somebody's last name could be Baker. I also put Anita or uh, Anetta, uh, but I put Netta in a box, okay? So somebody's name could have that in it. Netta, like Leonetta. I know somebody named Leonetta. Um, we got John Bonner. Somebody's last name could be Bonner here. You can give somebody a boner here, okay? I also put the name Bonnie. James. We um, got David. We got Jada. Jade. Jaden. Things like that. Uh, somebody's last name could be Curry here, okay? Somebody's name could be Floyd. Somebody's name could be Brad. We got a Keith here. Um, somebody's last name could be Brown, okay? Somebody could go by Clyde, okay? Somebody could be, it could be a couple here whose eye you're catching, or you guys could be catching people's eye because you're a couple and you somebody could be like Bonnie and Clyde here, okay? Um, if I didn't say Brad already, Brad, all right? But those are some of the names that I got. Um, and I feel like I didn't say Tiana, so Tiana's here as well, Floyd as well, all right? Now, those are some of the names. They don't necessarily have to resonate. But what I'm getting at, what makes you stand out is a you versus you, okay? People definitely see there's no competition when it comes to you, okay? When they see you and they think of you, they don't think of anybody else. Others of you, it's you versus, like I said, the world. It seems like you've been putting in a lot of work to people here, okay? Like I said, people are looking at you in a very high light, okay? Some of you guys I'm getting are very creative. Somebody could be a painter here, but for the most part, I'm getting most of you guys are very creative here, okay? You're an artist, an artist in some sort of way, okay? You could be a musical artist here. You could literally be a painter. You could just be expressing, um, things in in like an artistic way your your feelings okay in a very artistic way i'm also getting you guys have no filter now this could be like the way that you speak you have no filter here i'm also getting you do not need a filter you look exactly the same way that you look in person as online here okay you, some of you guys may not really like to use uh snapchat filters or things like that or if people have seen you online first and they see you in person they feel like you look exactly the same here okay i'm also getting um a lot of people feel like you're the one that got away, okay? Or you're getting away from like a low vibrational situation or a low vibrational person here. For some of you guys, you guys are currently in a um, relationship here and people feel like you and your person are a power couple. This is if you are currently in a relationship. Others of you, you guys may have left like a really toxic relationship or someone where people feel like y'all don't match. You look uh, more high vibrational than this person. Uh, people feel like you got away from that situation. Um, and a lot of your exes feel like you're the one that got away as well okay so you really stand out to your exes or the people that you um used to deal with or connect to okay uh because people are looking at you like bonnie to you're, you're their bonnie to their clyde or you should be their bonnie to their clyde but they done messed up or you don't want to connect with them or something here i'm also getting um for some of y'all, it's not necessarily the fact that uh, you're the one that got away from them. You're reminding them of people that uh, they already know here, okay? So you could be a very high vibrational person, and let's say somebody messed up with a, a divine feminine, because I'm getting like your div divine feminine type of energy, and let's say like all these karmics, they see their ex within you because they're karmics, okay? Uh, they messed up with these people. They may not come towards you here because they know that um, you're not going to give them a chance, 
Uh, but what for the most part, like I said, if you're in a relationship, you're a power couple with somebody. Other people, they're like, damn, why'd I mess up with this person? We could have been a power couple. I could have really made it work with this person here, okay? And then other people, you remind me of a girl that I once knew. Because that's what I'm hearing. See a face whenever. You remind people of people from their past for whatever reason okay for some people you you might have a very familiar face or some 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 of y'all y'all just um you're reminding people like it's something about your past life where um like people automatically know you when they see you here okay it's like they you're reminding them of somebody they know but they don't know them it's you that they know okay so um people definitely recognize you from a past life okay so you might have like one of those placements where people connect with you from past life energy okay i'm also getting your swag is very very different here you don't dress the same as other people you do it the way you want to do it here okay some of you guys may wear like baggy bottoms um or loose clothes here but like you still look really nice in them or look really really good it's like swaggy they don't think like damn take put on some smaller clothes or put this on they're looking like Okay, I see you. I see your swag. I see what you're doing here. I'm also getting some of you guys cook really, really well. Some of you guys know how to cook cultural foods, okay? So if you're from India or your fam family is from India, you know how to cook Indian food. If you are from Africa, your family's from Africa, you know how to cook African food. Wherever your family comes from, you may know how to cook uh, food from that culture here, okay? Or you're just very cultural. Some of you guys, you know how to cook very good soul food here, okay? But I'm getting you know how to... Um, it's like you're a kitchen witch here, okay? So it's almost like your ancestors are like, even if y'all don't like, let's say you're not looking up recipes, nobody taught you this, it's because you are like a kitchen witch. Your ancestors are guiding you. You cook naturally and you just know how to do it. Nobody had to teach you is what I'm getting. I'm also getting people look at you like you got big bank here, okay? Um, or you're about to have big bank. Now, some people may feel like you can be messy or you have been in a messy situation. Like I said, especially in the past, you're, this might be like your exes, um, talking about how you stand down and stuff here, okay? So they may be talking about how in the past you were messy or you went through a messy situation with somebody in the past, okay? But I'm also getting you stand out because you know how to keep a secret. You don't go running your mouth here. Even though you have been in a messy situation, it's almost like that was forced upon you here, okay? I don't think you naturally just be in messy situations. I feel like something happened. It was almost like a, a soul contract. This had to happen. It probably triggered you in a, a good way as well, okay? Um... But, yeah, people feel like you know how to keep a secret here, okay? And you don't really speak on, um, like, negative things that happen to you. I'm also getting people feel like you have morals here, okay? There's some certain things that you're just not about to do. You're just not about to partake in. But at the same time, you don't judge others for doing it. Like, you know, it, you, you can do that, but I'm not about to do that. Um, but you're not about to judge them for doing it either. So it's more like, oh, he does that? Oh, hell no, I ain't doing that. Oh, that's cool. You do it, though. That's what's up. You keep doing what you do if it's going to work for you. Uh, yeah, so you don't judge others off of what they do toxic because maybe you have a toxic trait. And you're like, yeah, I'll be damned if y'all judge me. So, look, <laughs> it's funny as hell, okay? I'm also getting, um, if you're a female, you may have more male friends or more males are attracted to you. They want to be friends to you, okay? They may want to be friends with benefits, but I'm getting, like, more males are attracted to you or you might trust males more than females here, okay? Or females might have, like, a jealousy issue towards you, okay? Just because some of you guys might be in the LGBTQ community, okay? But I'm getting most of y'all got uh, more male friends than female friends, okay? I Then I put pineapple. Somebody here really likes pineapple, but then I put fine apples. So somebody is fine as hell. I'm also getting, if you wear your hair in a bun or a ponytail you be looking good as hell when you do it like that okay um now i'm also getting people feel like you're moving through life like it's a game like it's just easy as hell you really know how to navigate through life so this is well what makes you stand out as well i'm also getting some of you guys have a big bottom a big booty um somebody has a big bottom lip as well that really makes you stand out somebody here may walk with a limp here um People see that. That makes you stand out as well, okay? I'm also getting, um, you're really, really nice until somebody offends you. You go zero to 100 super, super quick, and that's what makes you stand out because some of y'all are just really calm, like energy, and then somebody tries you because they see that you're calm, and then you're like, 
oh, okay, it's time to turn up on a bitch. It's like that. Okay, so you guys are really, really calm until you're not, until somebody. But I feel like you have to know that this person is trying you. You don't just do it if somebody was, like, accidentally tried you or they accidentally said something. They weren't aware. It's almost like you know this motherfucker's trying you, so you're about to get in their ass and you're about to hurt their feelings. And, yeah, you go zero to 100. Like, you might be really calm and then you might be super snappy at the same time, like, whenever people try you, okay? I'm also getting some of you guys are really good performer, okay? Some of you guys could be actors, actresses, or like I said, you know how to act in certain situations, but you guys are good performers here, okay? Um, you're made for whatever it is you're doing, whatever you're meant to be doing here, whatever you've been doing, okay? I'm also getting uh, you stand out because you have become more financially secure, so your look has changed as well, okay? You look more happy, more healthy here, okay? So because you have become more financially secure, financially so secure um it's making you stand out like i said you might have used to blend in within the crowd but now you have the money to pay for the things that you want or to do whatever it is that you want but you're looking real good okay i'm also getting uh because you're becoming more financially secure you are making your haters um very nervous okay you're making them very i wouldn't say jealous it's like nervous like they don't care if you're doing good but the fact that you might be doing better than them or that you're about to be doing better than them, they don't like that. That may make them feel insecure because, like I said, they either viewed you lower than them at one point in time or at the same level. And they feel like if you were at the same level, they need to be uh, making the same type of money as you as well. Or um, for some of you guys, if you surpass some people when it comes to making money or um, leveling up when it comes to your money or your, your lifestyle here, um, they feel low because... They were ahead of you at one point in time, okay? Um, maybe they should just focus on themselves. Um, if they see other people, you know, doing good, when I see other people doing good and they're doing better than me, I'd be happy as fuck because I know, shoot, it's my turn next. Eventually, there's no point in getting jealous or getting nervous because somebody about to level up or somebody has gotten their money up. That's a little weird. Um I'm also getting some of you guys may do Forex. Some of you guys could be into stocks. Um, some of you guys could be into trading, but I'm getting investments. OK, some of you guys have made some major investments or some of you guys are starting to make investments and it's going to get you the money that you're supposed to be getting. OK, uh, so some people could be literally nervous about these investments that you have made or that you're making here. I'm also getting people are really looking up to you because you are really leveling up like you have literally when you you might have went from zero to 100 like you had nothing now you 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 way up here when it comes to money finances your career um your home life okay uh like i said some of you guys might have been behind in the past and now you're surpassing some of the people and now they're feeling uncomfortable okay i'm also getting um people are definitely looking up to you people know that you are a big deal or that you are going to be a big deal in the future here okay um some of you guys are about to come into something here because i get a big bank and big deal some of you guys are about to uh come come into some type of contract or some type of a deal here somebody may invest in you and you're about to get like a big uh, a, a deal a big deal here okay but that is really what i got for you with the channel messages okay now what makes you stand out? Some of you guys have definitely had some type of spiritual awakening here, okay? And people are waking up to the fact that you really have changed here. Some of you guys could be seeing synchronicities, um, but I'm getting, you guys are guided by spirit here, okay? Some of the people who, like I said, used to be, you they feel like you used to be beneath them or lower than them. They feel like either now you're equally yoked to them or you're surpassing them. Yeah, especially people from your past here. People feel like you and them are now equally yoked here, okay? Now they're starting to see you people who you either used to want to pay attention to you because you felt like you were below them now they see you and now some of you guys are surpassing them as well others of you guys i'm seeing some of you guys may be in a relationship this is a very spiritual love this is a divine union here okay so people see you in this very beautiful relationship and others of you guys like i said people from your past see you leveled up and they feel like you guys are now equally yoked okay but what makes you stand out is your energy here okay you guys are looking at the bigger picture you guys know how to zoom out and look at the bigger picture here okay you guys are very inspirational i feel like some of you guys may have gotten inspired by something and then you took action and you really did it okay now people are being inspired by you here i'm also getting some of you guys are visionaries okay you guys know where you want to go in life and you guys are taking their action okay so that's making you stand out because people know that whatever you keep saying that you're going to do or whatever this door that you're going to walk through you're going to be great okay so 
yes, some people may be trying to connect themselves with you uh, now because you're about to walk through this door, especially people from your childhood or from your past, okay? Your classmates here, uh, lovers from the past here. People see you, okay? So... I'm also getting, yeah, some of you guys had a lot of ups and downs, but people still see you going. So people are really proud of you, okay? Some of you guys may have taken a break from something that you do, or like I said, y'all had a ups and downs. You guys are human, okay? So you realize that you can't be high vibrational all the time, and you're not going to be low all the time, okay? So people see that, and that's what makes you stand out. You're not trying to act perfect all the time, and you're not trying to uh, be mad all the time. That That's what makes you balanced here, okay? So people see you still going, even even though uh, you have had a lot of ups and downs, okay? Also, people see you working super hard, okay? Even on days or, or yeah, moments where you're not supposed to be putting in work, they still see you working hard. That's what makes you stand out. That's what makes people want to connect with you here because you're still working hard here, okay? I'm also getting people, because they see you working hard and they put in all, uh, you're putting in all this work, they don't want to see you sad. They don't want to see you hurt anymore, okay? They want to um, help you transmute this pain, transmute negative energy that you have went through okay i'm getting some people kind of want you to release that negative energy or whatever you went through in the past here okay they don't want you to go through that anymore i'm getting some people want to come towards you and put you up on game like on how not to go through certain things others of you you guys are waking people up and you're putting people up on game on how not to uh connect with narcissists on how not to do certain things people really listen to you because they seen that you already went through that and now that you're in a divine union they listen to you others of you guys like I said, um, people want to put you up on game and they're like, look, you, you need to not do this. And others of you guys, like I said, they see that uh, you have been put up on game. Like I said, people just see you leveling up. OK, um, but yeah, people definitely wish that in the past you never connected to that negative person or that negative energy that you connected to because that literally slowed you down a little bit. OK, um, but they still see you doing a lot better since you have released this toxic person, okay? This toxic thing. Now, you stand out a lot because you are super sensitive here, okay? Some of you guys are really, really fragile here, okay? Very, very sensitive with, um, like, your energy here. I'm getting, like, some of y'all, y'all have connected to frenemies. Yeah, I'm getting, like, in the past, y'all connected to people that were your friends. But at the same time, they like you, but they, they didn't like you. I'm getting they like you whenever you guys are on the same vibration, like... Whenever you guys are low with them, but when you guys raise your vibration and start doing what you know you can do, um, they start to get a little shaky. They start to get a little nervous. Okay, it's giving me big friend of me enemy enemy friend of me energy. Okay, um, these people are childish, and like I said, these are like your old friends, people from your child here. Here, okay, they're getting nervous because you're becoming more confident. Is what I'm getting here. Yeah, you're becoming more confident and you're no longer being broke here. You don't want to be broke no more. You don't want to be in the same position you were. For some of you guys, yeah. And I'm also getting some of y'all had to leave these people out in the cold here, okay? Or some of you guys are um about to do this here. Yeah, I'm getting some of y'all had to leave them out in the cold and you became more hermit. You became more to yourself. You became more spiritual here. And now, they're like I said, either... They're still left out in the cold. And for some of you guys, these would be people that you were connected to. They still looked at you as lower than them. And now they see you and they're feeling like you're about to surpass them or you have surpassed them here. Um, so, yeah, they see you moving on to calmer waters here. You no longer wanting to be in this energy with them anymore or in this energy at all anymore. OK, yeah, like I said, some of y'all got more spiritual. And this is what's um, giving you this. I'm hearing people owe you I hear people may owe you spiritually yeah because they had you putting in a lot of work or they um they were burdening you I'm getting like people were burdening you you got burdening you you guys got like a lot of spiritual I don't know how else to put it but a lot of spiritual points I feel like people were blocking you guys energetically and they wanted it to be this way here but you guys are really the empress for some of you guys this could have been your own mother here okay but what makes you stand out is you get whatever you want here we got the spoiled brat now you guys are spoiled spiritually here spirit universe God got your back so whatever you want whatever you m want to manifest you have been getting it you have been manifesting here okay I'm also getting some of you guys got a lot of eyes on you okay some of you guys could have very colorful hair here but what I'm getting is like this could be your energy and then there's a lot of uh, masculine energies that have their eye on you but look at you unbothered 
There's a lot of men who have their eye on you. They feel like you fine as hell. Some of you guys, you know, may wear a little bit of clothes. Like, let's say you wear your bathing suit. You may wear a sports bra. But I don't think you're thinking about, like, entertaining these people in the background, these men, these women. You just want to be comfortable for the most part. And you're really unbothered by these people. And that's what makes you stand out. All these people trying to get with you and holler at you. But you're like... No, I'm good. Thank you. Have a good day. It's like that. Like, you don't really fall for the BS. Some of you guys are really celibate. Like, some people might think you want or crave attention uh, from these people, but you're actually celibate the whole time. They're just projecting or they're nervous because now you're getting attention from men. You don't work on yourself, your body, your 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 self-love, your self-care. Some of you guys, you don't have to be celibate, but you've just been working on your self-love, your self-care more, and you're attracting a lot of the opposite sex, okay? Um, or some of you guys, you could be attracting the same sex. I'm seeing the rainbow here. But what, nonetheless, you're making like your haters nervous, even though I feel like you guys guys really aren't even paying attention to the people that are lusting after you that are wanting you here because like I said you guys are celibate or you've been really just taking care of yourself okay yeah we got the devil here okay yeah there's a lot of people who are really sexually attracted to you guys here okay (laughs) Uh, yeah also your sexual energy makes you stand out here like I said I don't feel like you guys are trying I just think you guys are naturally sexy and yeah you guys are just naturally sexy here okay I'm also getting, some of you guys could know a lot of occult knowledge here, okay? That also makes you guys stand out. Nonetheless, you guys have been becoming more stable here, uh, a lot more happy here. You guys have been shining. You see me shining, you piss. Old nigga hit me, and I said, new body, who this? Man, y'all exes or y'all old friends might be hitting y'all up, and you are acting like you don't know them because you don't. Shit, it's a new season. Yep, you guys got karmic masculine energies, users trying to hit you up, and you, you uh, new body, who this? Okay, you guys are so much happier here, and this is where you're standing, and this is why you're standing out here, okay? I'm also getting some of you guys could be really childlike at the same time, okay? Um, And that's what makes you stand out, but your childlike energy makes people want to, like, connect with you. It's like they're addicted to you because you're so... Yay! But at the same time, you getting somebody ass here, okay? Okay, so your child, like, when you feel comfortable around people is what I'm getting. But if you don't feel comfortable uh, around them, um, you're um, aloof. It's more aloof. It's not even aloof. It's like you don't really give a fuck. Yeah, aloof. Like, you kind of don't care. Even if they're offering you stuff, you don't feel comfortable. You're just going to be like, yeah, thanks. Anyway, bye. Yeah, and I, I am getting some of you guys are in the LGBTQ community, like, you stand out because you love who you want to. You don't care. You're going to fuck who you want to. Some of you guys may be the promiscuous ones. Okay. So what makes you stand out? And I did do channel messages for each pal. I did pick up on a few names and places. They don't necessarily have to resonate. But I did pick up on the name Alicia. Uh, Parker could be a first or last name. I got Anne. Uh, but it can have names with Anne in it. Like Brianne, Cheyenne, things like that. Okay. Um, I got the name Summer here. Trinity. Um, I picked up on Chicago here and somebody could be, uh, from the suburbs here. Okay. But those are the names and places. They don't have to resonate. Now, uh, what makes you stand out is you show people real genuine love. I feel like you only connect with people when you can only genuinely really show them true love. Okay. I'm also getting people see you vibing high here. People know that this is your season. People know that you're about to get something that you have been uh, manifesting that you have been trying to get okay so it's like you're this close to getting it here and people are like watching you here okay so they know that it's your season okay I'm also getting you like to warn people about red flags that they cannot see here but it helps them out in the long run here so that really makes you stand out because in the end people are like you were so fucking right about this you told me this and I was like eh, okay but then it happened And oh my God, okay? So you guys, that's a part of your gift here. You're a seer. And a part of your gift is to warn people about things that they can change ultimately, okay? I'm also getting uh, people may really stare at you because they're really mesmerized by you, okay? You guys have a very mesmerizing look. And others of you guys, you stare at other people, okay? But that was that's what makes you stand out. Why is he staring at me? <laughs> Some of you guys, you might be saying, why the fuck is this person staring at me? Because you look very beautiful or it's something very mesmerizing. And it's more so about your energy. Your energy is very mesmerizing, okay? I'm also getting, you guys may lead people on, um, but I'm getting 
not on purpose. I'm getting the reason that you leave people on is because they're looking at you with rose colored glasses. Okay. They feel like you're so, so beautiful. You're so, so pretty that you shouldn't even be being nice to them. So what I'm getting is people feel like you want them because you're being nice to them because you look, but because you look good, they feel led on. Like I, I, I guess they think you're supposed to be a mean person because you are attractive, but you're still attractive and you're still nice to people. And they're like, Maybe he want me. Maybe she wants me. <laughs> and then they feel let on when you turn them down. Like, oh, no, thank you. I got a boyfriend. Or, no, thank you. I'm not dating right now. Or I'm gay. and I'm good. Okay. But people do feel let on by you because you're so attractive. And maybe, like I said, maybe nice people aren't attractive where you come from. Or these people, they don't get treated nicely by attractive people. I don't know. Or they just expect pretty people to have a nasty attitude okay i'm also getting um you make people put in the work here okay you to get in your good graces here okay if people want to be on your level if people want to connect with you they have to put in the work here you're not just about to come connect with me because you're friends with my friend no thank you you have to put in the work you have to let me know show me that you're actually genuine uh show me that you really want to be my partner show me that you really want to be my friend show me that you really want to be my business partner i don't care if my best friend brought you over i do not care you have to let me know that you're genuine here okay so you guys have like an authoritative type of energy here okay <laughs> it could be very intimidating maybe i didn't put that down but you could be a little intimidating okay um I'm also getting some of you guys make people want to do better, okay? I'm getting you guys are just super hard to get, um, and that's okay. Keep setting those boundaries here. Uh, keep letting people know, look, you need to be on this vibration to connect with me because if I connect with you and your vibration is too low, it's going to lower my vibration, and look, no thank you, okay? Um, so, yeah, I just feel like you're not willing to connect with certain type of energies here, okay? I'm also getting some of you guys can have braids here. That's really making you stand out, Um or, yeah, I'm mainly getting if you have braids, that really looks good on you, okay? Now, some of you guys could be going live here, okay? You could be on Facebook Live, Instagram Live, TikTok Live, uh, YouTube Live. But I'm getting some of you guys are going live here or you're meant to go live, show people what you do going live. You could be a reader here. You could literally be a, a YouTuber. You could literally do anything. You could be a rapper here. Whatever it is that you do, uh, you should go live doing it here, okay? I'm also getting your super woke here um, or you're really guided by your um, intuition here okay i'm also pe seeing people uh see how you live or they want to see how you live here okay so some of you guys could be going live here somebody, somebody could be vlogging here okay somebody should be vlogging their life here but i'm getting like you're so entertaining that people want to see your life here um maybe some of you guys have been like i said going live or you, you have been uh, making vlogs or recording videos or something here. I'm also getting most of you guys are very curvy or you have a really nice body here, okay? Or for the most part, if you feel like your body's not nice, which it probably is to somebody, somebody's like, dang, you got a nice body. I wish that was me. Um, people just see that you really take care of yourself, okay? The things that you are eating or, or you lotion up your body real well, whatever it is that you do, people see you take care of yourself. And that what makes you stand out as well, okay? I'm also getting, uh, you make people see life from a new perspective here, okay? You're changing people's minds and perspectives all the time because the way that you th say things or uh, you tell whatever it is that you are seeing or feeling, they start to see it that way too. Like, you know what? That is right. I've never seen it from that way. So, yeah, you change people's perspective on certain things here. I'm also getting... Um, you're hard to mess. It's really hard to mess up your energy. Okay. You're really hard to get to people can't get to you. Maybe some people be trying to get to you, try to get to your energy, trying to mess with you or something, but it don't work. You're so nonchalant or something like you're really hard to get, Like I'm getting like, you're really pretty you, or you look really good. Or it's something about your energy where some people might think you're stuck up, but what I'm getting is you know that people are trying to fuck with you and then the fact that they can't fuck with you or penetrate your energy or you don't pay them no attention, no mind, then they want to call you stuck up here, okay? Um, 
I'm also, yeah, I'm getting, it's hard to mess up your energy. So this could be why some people mess with you. Or like I said, some people might feel like you're um, stuck up because they can't fuck with you because they can't be narcissistic to you. I'm also getting, some of you guys have a very white or yellow type of aura here, okay? Uh, some of you guys are also triggering other people into awakenings here. Some of you guys may wear a lot of bright colors here or have a lot of colors in your hair here. But it's like a, a lot of emphasis on colors here. Like you look really, really good um, on color. Somebody could have a rainbow aura here, okay? I'm also getting, you're an answer seeker here. Like, you don't, you're not about to, like, if something don't make sense to you, you're going to ask questions. <laughs> what is God? How did God happen? This, this, and that. And some people might think, like, you're not supposed to do that, but you are an answer seeker, okay? And you answer the questions that people already want to know to life here, okay? So, mm. You you do what you're supposed to do. I think this is like part of your path. You are an answer seeker, and then you make people see it from a different perspective, okay? And then you either make people question life like, damn, I always thought it was this, but then the way that this person said it, it makes so much more sense. Why is life a lie like that? You be triggering people into awakenings like, Ooh, wait, 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 my mind is blown. You're a mind blower. You be blowing people's minds, okay? I'm also getting some of you guys are into yoga, uh, the Pilates here. Somebody could really go to the gym. Somebody could just do workouts at home here. Some of you guys, you could be working out on live here or showing people yoga that you do or whatever you do in gym. Some of you guys, um, I put healthy tea. Some of you guys could be um, herbalist here, okay? Somebody could be making natural remedies. But I feel like if you do this, like I said, you have been on live or you're showing people how to do this, um, or whatever you're doing, yeah, you're helping people out here, okay? They definitely see you, okay? I'm also getting some of you guys could be a hopeless romantic here. Um, some of you guys don't really trust men or or um you don't trust women. You don't trust one of the two. Hell, some of y'all don't trust people at all, okay? I'm also getting you don't do arguing, you just don't argue. Some of you guys have stepped into a new job, a new career, or this is what you're about to do here, okay? Those are the channel messages. That's why you stand out. Let me get into the reading, okay? What makes you stand out is, yeah, you're a truth seeker. You know the truth about whatever it is that you're talking about. You're not going to speak about something unless you know it's the truth here, okay? So you know the truth about a lot of things. I feel like a lot of hidden things here. Um, and you make people see it from a different perspective here, okay? And also... What makes you stand out is people know that you're genuine. Like some of you guys may be conspiracy theorists here. And even though it's a theory or a conspiracy, um, people could still tell that you're the truth here. Okay. You're very, very genuine here. Like I said, um, and I feel like you may not trust a lot of people, but a lot of people trust you. Okay. I'm also getting, yeah, the reason it's a lot of people watching you. There's a lot of eyes on you. And it says just because they want your attention doesn't mean they have good intentions. You guys may get a lot of attention on social media or a lot of people may be looking at y'all, have their eye on you guys. But yes, a lot of people have their eye on you, okay? Uh, and this is what makes you stand out. And I think the reason that these people are watching you is because you are the truth or you come with the truth. Or like I said, you are a truth seeker. You have seek the truth and you speak the truth here as well. Yeah, I'm getting like some of these people that come around around you or they watch you or whatever the fuck they are snakes here okay some of these people could definitely be plotting on you here uh some of you guys you guys let people know when like i said something isn't right here you guys are letting people see red flags when people are plotting on them you guys some some of you guys are telling people hey your friend is a snake hey this person isn't genuine to you. Others of you guys, the people that are watching you and um, you're standing out to them, they are not genuine, okay? Something, something about them is just not, it's not genuine here, okay? I'm also getting, like, some of you guys are very, very innocent. Not all of them. Some of the people who, like, watch you or connect to you or um, see you, they're very innocent here. They see that you're an earth angel and that you wouldn't hurt anybody here, okay? You wouldn't hurt a fly. I'm also getting, like, a lot of you guys have hippie-like energy here, okay? You guys are very uh, natural, okay? You, you mind your own business. You don't really connect with people like that. And if you do, like I said, it's because you have genuine love for them, okay? And you can talk to them, um... Uh, the way, like, without them getting offended and stuff like that, okay, is what I'm getting. Some of y'all might not like to connect with certain people because they get offended at, at, at the truth 
or at your truth here, especially if you're like a reader or something. It's like you don't want to read certain people because if it's the truth and it could hurt them, you don't want to, yeah, hurt their feelings. But anyway, people still know you the truth here, okay? Uh, clip out too many fakes and snakes are plotting. Yeah, you guys have so many eyes on you guys, so many options. It says jealousy. They literally hate you because they ain't you. You guys have got a lot of people secretly competing with you guys um, for whatever reason. But I'm getting like you guys have just been manifesting here. You guys are the magician. You guys have been manifesting um, like your life the way you want it here for some of you guys. Some of you guys, your manifestations are just now coming in and people are starting to get jealous. Like for some of y'all, y'all ain't even manifesting no big shit yet. And people are still jealous. They're still jealous here, okay? But people just see you being optimistic. They know that you have the power to manifest all these things here. And it's causing jealousy here. Like, I don't know why y'all have so many eyes on y'all, okay? But you guys are innocent here, okay? You guys are just doing your thing. And you guys have a lot of immature, um, gossipy, moody people watching you, having their eye on you because of these things. Why are they watching you because of these things that you're manifesting? Yeah, for some of you guys, these are teenagers. For some of you guys, these are people who are... Are still stuck in teenage years like mm, she used to be lame in high school and now she thinks she cool no you're still lame. you're lame now because you still think about high school it's like that okay but some of these people may be trying to connect with you or they're watching you um trying to plot to come towards you because they see that you are the magician here some of you guys may literally do magic and this helps you stand out this is what makes you stand out uh but for most of you guys just be careful because you guys got so many eyes on you and i feel like a lot of these eyes are not genuine here okay yeah we got guilty here a lot of these eyes a lot of these people are criminals oh you got some of y'all got like a criminal watching you you, a jailbird um somebody's plotting on y'all and if they are they're going to fucking jail somebody's plotting on the divine feminine here somebody's plotting on you because you have your own everything here uh you're very spiritual you're a true friend and you've been manifesting like crazy here somebody has literally been plotting on you and they're gonna go to jail here okay clarify the magician yeah, you guys have definitely been manifesting here, okay? And I get, like, the people who are plotting on you, they see your future or they see a future with you here. I'm also getting... Um, most of the people who you stand out to, like I said, these are people who belong in your soul tribe. I'm getting half of your soul tribe. Um, they're very, very good people. And then the other half, they need to work on their goddamn selves. Okay. The other half, uh, may connect more so with your shadow side. Maybe you guys aren't in that energy where you're connecting with your shadow side right now. And some of you guys, like I said, you guys may have surpassed these people in some sort of way here. Okay. But I'm getting like, you guys are over. A situation here over people some of you guys have broken up with somebody or detached from somebody here okay yeah I'm getting something happen like you guys were in the union or you guys are supposed to be in the union but you guys had to focus on your self-love your self-care here okay because you guys were expecting something to turn out a certain type of way um I'm also getting like you guys always keeping it real. Maybe like I said, you guys, people are feeling disappointed because you guys are telling the truth about their lovers or their friends here. And hell, all you, all you, they ask you to keep it real. They may have came to you and asked you for your opinion or paid for your services. And now they're disappointed here. But at the same time, they. You sticking out to them, though. They're, they're part of your soul tribe. They know you're being genuine because they're part of your soul tribe here. Yeah, you're just helping them people wake up to the fact that somebody around them just is not genuine here, okay? You're helping people observe themselves and other people from a different perspective here, okay? So people definitely see that. That's what's making you stand out. You guys are very, very influential, okay? You guys, I also see some of you guys as your platform may be growing here, okay? Or you guys are about to gain a lot of support uh, via social media here, okay? But for the most part, I'm getting, yeah, you guys, here it is again, an influencer here. Um, what makes you stand out is you guys are in, an influencer here, okay? You guys are making a big impact on the world here. You guys are making a big pack on social media. You guys are making a big impact to your friends here, okay? So keep doing what you're doing here, okay? Because you guys are really raising people's vibration here. I'm getting like some of the people may be jealous, but like I said, it's a half and half situation here. Uh, you guys got a lot of eyes on you. I'm telling you, there's so many people watching you guys, and it's all because you're coming with the truth. Uh, some type of truth that you have spoken or that you be speaking about. This is why this is what's making you stand out here, okay? Also, yeah, look. 
People are watching you. You guys are speaking about something. It's something, some type of conversation that you have had with people here. And they're saying that you really are the truth. Or like I said, you have seeked the truth for people here. You let people know, hey, that's a red flag. Don't even do that. Hey, do it like this. Move this way. Okay, you guys are an alchemist here. And you're helping people alchemize their lives here. Yeah. I'm also getting some of you guys are entertainers here. Some of you guys are meant to entertain others. And people are watching you. People are watching you speak. I'm getting big YouTubers vibes like not just I'm sitting here doing tarot I'm getting like some of you guys are youtubers or some of you guys are uh I'm meant to allow uh meant to let people in your lives here okay but I'm getting you guys are meant to be in the industry in some sort of way people are meant to be looking at you and you guys are meant to be talking to people about whatever it is that you're doing here okay um in order for, for them to step in that same position here okay uh because you guys are very talented I'm getting some of you guys maybe songwriters like I said musicians poets youtubers um um, maybe you uh, are starting your own show here, okay? But you guys are definitely manifesting, okay? And you guys are definitely uh, a part of the industry, okay? I'm also getting... You guys, y'all don't give a fuck about any drama. Like I said, if people want drama with you, you guys do not partake in drama here. You do not partake in that type of energy because it makes you very moody and very, very sensitive, okay? And it may also make you very, very um, insecure and a little resentful here, okay? Now, like I said, some of you guys are becoming very uh, creative here. I'm also getting... Whatever you do for work, like I said, you make it make sense. Like, I feel like you do something very... Like, you're... Something that you're saying, you're making it make sense here, okay? You guys have a lot of com common sense. And I'm also getting people know that they can rely on you, okay? You guys, people know that you guys are honest in the truth here. So that's why. And they understand your truth. Like I said, if you're telling like a conspiracy or something that people can't really understand, the way that you say it, you make it really easy for them to understand it here, okay? And because you're so organized or you're so um, easy to connect with in that type of way here, okay? Yeah, you're super easy to connect with. People really want to collab with you also like I said it's your season people see that it's your season people see that the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor here that you guys have a lot of good luck coming your way here yeah you guys are whatever you've been working on keep doing it people see that you are going to be wealthy from this that you're going to make a lot of money for this that you're going to uh shift the world with this here okay so keep doing exactly what you're doing this is what makes you stand out here okay anything else that is really what I got for y'all, all right? Hope it resonates. Thank y'all and bye. Pile three, what makes you stand out? And I did do channel messages for each pile. So pile three, I did pick up on a few names and a few places. I picked up on Atlanta. Somebody's name could be Lena, um, Delena. Somebody's name could be Eden. Uh, somebody's name could be Tay or they could have Tay in their name. I'm here, Devante. Um, and somebody could be Mexican here, okay, or Hispanic here. Um, but those are the names and the places that I picked up on mainly. Now, what makes you stand out is people see you as very balanced here, okay? I'm also getting people see you as a very understanding person. Some of you guys could be water signs or fire signs uh, is what I put, okay? But I'm getting people also see you taking a lot of trips here, okay? They see you going places and they want to know, like, how are you affording these trips? How are you doing this? Because you wasn't taking trips two years ago. When you start taking trips like that. Okay, so some people may see you taking trips here. For others of you guys, um, some of you guys may take like shrooms or something or some type of drugs here, okay? I'm also getting... What makes you stand out is you just don't beef with others, okay? I'm getting like a big hippie energy. You don't fight. You don't argue here. Um, and you definitely do not argue with broke people. I, it's a specific, I do not argue with broke people. If you got some money, maybe. But um, you don't beef with people at all. And you don't argue with broke people. <laughs> that was make you stand out. So I'm getting like if somebody who was not on the same level as you or let's say they, they was broke or they tried to beef with you so bad and you just do not beef. They tried it. They were like, rah, 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 and you were just sitting there like, okay. Anyway, and people are like, ooh, now this person's mad. It's almost like that. Okay, some of you guys, spirit saying, look, practice on look, making them look dumb as fuck. Practice on making them look dumb. Let them do that rah rah, and then you sit there like, you need help? Okay. And then move on about your day. Some of y'all are really sassy. <laughs> You're super sassy, and I like it, okay? Because I feel like you put people in their place without even having to get out of your energy here. It's like you make people feel so embarrassed. 
because I feel so embarrassed for whoever um, did that shit, okay? Um, I'm also getting, you don't give people a real reaction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't give people a real reaction. Um, they try you because they know that their vibe, because, um, yeah, they're vibing low and they try you. That's the reason that they're trying you. I feel like you don't give them a reaction because you know they're vibing low. Like I said, people try their hardest to get a reaction out of you. Some people may, I'm getting, some people may like, post things about you and you see it and it's almost like they didn't direct it towards you but it's, you know it's for you and you don't say nothing you don't react to it you don't do anything and these people start to feel stupid on the inside okay they start to feel dumb uh for some of you guys these are people saying shit to your face like oh you should probably clean up your room and you're like yeah it's my room bitch anyway by it's something like that okay so people are like always trying to say slick things to you but you don't even give them any reaction and it makes them look or feel so stupid okay and this is because they're so vi low vibing okay i'm also getting people play uh people play or show your work and your haters want them to turn it off Okay, whatever you're doing, if you make music, if you are an artist here, if you are on YouTube, people, yo, your haters see it because people are showing them. Oh, my God. Did you see Brielle? Did you see her YouTube video? That shit was funny. Bro, turn that shit off. I don't like Brielle. Why? I just don't like her. Bro, did you see her on TikTok? Turn it off. Don't nobody give a fuck. Why? She's telling the truth here. Or her makeup look good here or whatever the case. Or she's so funny. I don't care. Your haters have to see you because people who they fuck with are fucking with you, okay? <laughs> Did you hear his song on the radio? No. Turn that shit off. <laughs> I'm also getting, you guys are doing a victory lap. You just keep fucking winning. It's you versus you. It's almost like these people who have to see your success. They are competing with you. And these people who are showing them, they don't even know that these people are competing. They're just like, oh, my God. Look at Say Say. And then these people are like, uh, fuck Say Say. It's like that. But you guys, you're doing a victory lap because you already won. And then you keep lapping around yourself. It's like you just, because you, you're only competing with yourself. And these people are competing with you. And that's where they fucking up at. That's where they fucking up at, okay? So people see you winning. They see that it's you versus you. They see you passing. They see you passing the line. And then they see you passing it again. And then they see you passing it again. It's just like, damn. How, 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 how long you going to keep winning for? Okay? <laughs> some, some of you guys, I'm getting, somebody might have a gap. Um, this could be literally at the top or the bottom here. Um, some of you guys, the people who you're connecting to, it's like an age gap between you guys here, okay? Or the people who are um, admiring you, okay, who you're standing out to, there could be an age gap between you and these people here, okay? I'm also getting what you say you're going to do, you do it. Or you've been doing it here. People are seeing you literally manifest. As it speaks here, okay? If you said shit by October, I'm gonna have twenty thousand subscribers. Somehow you done made it to nineteen thousand, and they see you, okay? Uh, but they don't want to see you. The haters, the one that don't want to see it, yeah, they, they don't want to see that. But others of them, I, it's a lot of people that are like really excited for you as well, okay? I'm also getting people may try to hurt you or attack you or they have tried this in the past. Um, and I'm mainly getting gossip. This is big gossip energy. Like they try to, uh, uh, you listen to her music? Hell nah, she suck. Uh, you listen to her readings? Uh, you watch her on YouTube? Mm-mm. You watch her, you follow her on TikTok? It's almost like that. Like people try to turn people against you in some sort of way here, okay? And that shit is boomeranging back to them. And it always boomerang back to them, okay? So anybody who tried to, like I said, gossip about you, make people not like you or fuck with you here, people are looking at them like that, like, ugh, don't nobody want to buy your nasty ass whatever the hell you got going on, girl, okay? <laughs> Funny as hell. So people need to really be careful on how they think about you, talk about you, especially talk about you to others here. I'm also getting you guys have very lethal energy here. Uh, so whoever tried to send you attacks, negative energy, negative gossip here, and for some of you guys, this could be literally a weirdo sitting here doing potions and spell work on you. Uh, your energy is so lethal that these motherfuckers are going crazy. They shouldn't even be trying to fuck with you, gossip about you none of that shit because it's backfiring and you guys are heavily protected by
by your angels, your ancestors. You guys are chosen, so they shouldn't be talking about you. They can talk about you, just they need to recognize that they're going to energetically fuck themselves up, that they're hexing themselves. You don't have to light a candle. You don't have to say a word. You're hexing your fucking self talking about me or trying to stop me or trying to stop people to uh, fucking with me. And that's just how we go here, okay? I'm also getting your haters are down bad. I know this is what makes you stand out, but I'm thinking what's making you stand back is your uh, stand out is um your lethal ass energy because somebody might have did some gossiping or tried to slow you down. And now other people are seeing this person get fucked up or this person is recognizing that they're getting fucked up. And that's what makes you stand out for some of y'all, uh, uh, a part, a part, uh, uh, somebody who does spell work, tried to do some work on you or somebody who's very popular, tried to gossip about you. And now they're getting fucked up. This person was very experienced in doing what they do. And it still didn't work. Because your energy is lethal. You don't have to do that shit. They have to do that shit. You created that shit energetically. Your ancestor created that shit energetically. The shit that they trying to put on you. Your ancestor created that shit. They have to go to your ancestor to make it happen. How dumb can a bitch be? Somebody had to go to your ancestor to fuck you up. And now they're going fucking crazy. <laughs> Anyway, we can't feel bad for those type of people. Okay, I'm also getting you guys are very emotional and you guys are very moody, but you never hide it. And I feel like because you know how to tap into your emotionals, that's why they really getting fucked up. Some of you guys, you may not even realize that people are doing this shit to you. So then when you tap into your emotions and you know, this is not my energy, you send that shit right back to where it come from. Keep doing what you're doing, okay? Um, I'm also getting, you're not just a... Whatever it is that you do. You're not just a tarot reader. You're not just an artist. You're not just a singer. You're not just a dancer. You are a spiritual fucking assassin. So they need to leave you the fuck alone here, okay? You're not to be fucked with spiritually. And that's what people need to know. Look at my kids. Hold on. All right. So, yeah, you guys are like spiritual assassins. You're not to be fucked with spiritually here, okay? Um, because... People are really going crazy trying to put magic on you, trying to gossip about you, and they don't know where it's coming from. Some of them may think that you're hexing them, but they're hexing their motherfucking self, okay? I'm also getting people uh, thought they were doing something negative to you and end up sticking, uh, they ended up sticking their own demons on themselves here, okay? So some of the, so it's either one, two scenarios. They either try to conjure up your demons to do something to you, and it's like, bitch, we connected to her. You can't do, we can't. We we her family. You you finna get fucked up. We can't hurt her. And others of you, they try to literally uh conjure up their demons, use their demons to fuck with you or do something to hurt you. And those demons can't fuck with you because you are a spiritual assassin. Okay, you're too connected to spirit, universe, God. They're too low vibrational. They can't reach you. So what are they gonna do? They're going to bounce back and start beating up the motherfucker that sent them. Okay, I'm also getting you guys. Uh, they might have sent something to you or um, gossip, gossiped about you, but you're still making good money. Oh, you're still good. You're still living. You're still alive. For some of y'all, somebody really tried to stop you, tried to end you, bitch. Okay. I'm also getting some of you guys, you guys are really good pillow talkers here. Okay. I'm also getting tried to take something from you. It didn't last. So yeah, whoever tried to take this shit from you, I'm getting big gossip energy, like Big pick me energy. Come to me instead. I do this better. She sucks. She don't know what she's talking about. Others of you, somebody really tried to do some magic. Some, somebody tried to take your clients. Somebody tried to take your love options. Anyway, whatever they tried to take from you, that shit did not last, okay? Somebody uh, was coming towards you romantically for some of you guys, and then somebody stopped them by saying that they were a better option. Like, somebody just a big pick me. And you guys... Uh, your, your energy is fucking somebody up, okay? Keep doing what you're doing, okay? So anyway, what makes you guys stand out? Your ancestors. You guys are definitely being guided by your ancestors here, okay? Um, you guys literally know how to show gratitude is what I'm getting here. Um, also, you guys really pay attention to the signs around you here. I'm also getting you guys are being celebrated by your angels, your ancestors here, okay? People definitely see you. People see that you really stand out because you guys have good vibes. Like, even though your energy is really, really lethal, you guys still have really good vibes here. You guys could literally be getting celebrated by, like I said, a group of people or your ancestors are celebrating you guys. You guys could be getting spiritually spoiled here is what I'm getting here. I'm also getting you guys are extremely strong here. Like, when people send you negative energy, you still get the fuck back up. 
and you still are standing strong as hell. And that's what makes you stand out. So I'm getting, like I said, the whoever tried to send you negative energy, they see you and they know you can't be fucked with and they should probably stop it. Or they wish that they never uh, did that shit anyway. Um, some of you guys have a dog here. Um, and you might go with your dog a lot of places here. Um, that really makes you stand out because people don't be taking a place pets places here also you guys are chosen when you guys actually answer the call you guys are really being guided by your ancestors here okay um some very strong deities here some of you guys others of you guys you know exactly who you're being guided by okay but you guys actually answered the call the spirit gave you guys and you guys are so strong you guys are very 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 protected here like i said whoever tried to send you that negative energy whoever tried to stop you gossip about you um you show so much strength here and they're even looking at you like fuck why this shit not working they might even be a little bit nervous here yeah what makes you stand out is you guys are still um going you guys are still going you guys are still holding the vision you guys are still making it work you guys are still i'm gonna make it do what it do baby that's what i hear you still making it do what it do even though these people tried to stop you they gossiped about you they tried to make you look a certain type of way that you aren't and for some of y'all like i said they tried to do some type of magic on you, but you guys still have hope here. You guys are still master manifestors here, okay? You guys, can't nobody stop y'all. Yeah, what makes you stand out? Wrong bitch. You got the wrong bitch. What makes you stand out is this person who tried to stop you or gossip about you, they now realizing that they had the wrong one. Like I said, this motherfucker might be powerful. They, they, they damn self, but they're not no match for you. Like I said, they got to work like candles and shit. They have to sit there and use potions and put herbs together. You do not. All you have to do is say, hey, ancestors, get their motherfucking ass. And then you, they get, <laughs> they get fucked up. They start going crazy here. Okay. Um, I'm also getting like y'all cannot be tricked here. Okay. You don't stick around for the run around something. Somebody's doing something or saying something you don't like. You just detach from them. Okay. It don't have to be no big argument. You're just like, okay, yeah, no. I don't think this is going to work out, okay? I'm also getting people feel like the, like in the past they thought that you couldn't um, replace them here. Um, yeah, you replace people real easy. You don't give a fuck. You would detach from people real easy, and it does make people jealous here, okay? People are really admiring you here, okay? But I'm getting like some of the people that you allow around you or you have allowed around you in the past, they were mentally unstable and they were already jealous of you. Like some whoever did this magic on you, this spell work or this gossip, this person's mentally unstable and super jealous of you, okay? Um and this person, they tried to replace you or they wanted to replace you. They thought that they want to be able to replace you here. Yeah, because this person's low vibrational as fuck. This person's so fucking depressed here and they cannot see a way out of this energy. So they tried to gossip about you, tried to change people's minds about you so that they can take your um spot because they see you being celebrated here, but like this person didn't realize that your ancestors don't play. Your ancestors don't play about that, okay? Literally you could be a Libra here, um, or like I said, your ancestors do not play about you. That's all I can say. Like, especially a masculine type of ancestor here. You guys have like warrior like ancestors on your side here doing doing the work for you here, okay? I'm also getting what makes you stand out is like I said, you guys are really free spirits here. You're being guided by spirit. Um, you're spirit led. Uh some of you guys, like I said, you never have to light a candle, you never have to say a spell, you don't have to do any of those things because you are one of those people who create those things. You are truly spirit led you do not have to do hoodoo or voodoo and there's nothing wrong with that like i said um but you don't have to do that your ancestors are people who did that those are your ancestors it's already within your bloodline i really feel like you don't even have to practice this you could literally be an initiate and you don't have to do all those extra things you don't need a shaman you don't need a to be initiated because you already have been initiated by spirit spiritually here okay you don't have to go to a shaman and make all those things happen here okay and this person probably thought maybe this person does that and they thought that they can fuck you up because you never went to a shaman or you never had this done to you or you never connected with um, like spiritual people. But this person doesn't realize that you are the shaman that you don't even have to practice. You are the fucking shaman. They tried to put a shaman on you or they tried to put hoodoo voodoo on you, but you are the shaman and you don't even have to practice it. <laughs> people see you on top of your shit. People know. That you're very spiritual, that you belong to a very spiritual group here, okay? 
that they cannot fuck with you here, that you are really chosen by your angels, by your ancestors here. That's what makes you stand out, okay? Then people are really, really curious about you guys. I'm mean, also getting like, you guys, it's something about your energy, but people, because you are chosen and like you are really chosen, people do want to sabotage you, okay? That people feel like if I can't have it, you can't either. If I can't have it, you can't either. If you, if I can't uh, lead people and be a spiritual leader, some of you guys could be teachers here, okay? I'm getting somebody here is a teacher here. But I'm mostly getting, most of y'all, you guys are spiritual leaders here. And then there's always a third-party energy. And I don't even think for some of y'all, it's not even a person. It's an energy that always tries to stop some of y'all, okay? It's third-party energy always trying to slow you guys down. Uh, but nonetheless, you guys are still being celebrated. The devil always trying to slow y'all down, but you're still being celebrated, so much jealousy. Y'all got so many people jealous of you because you are chosen. You know exactly who you are. You know exactly what to do here. And you know your life purpose. People are jealous of your life purpose here. What makes you stand out is your life purpose and people being jealous of it here. Your life purpose. You know your life purpose. You're taking fucking action. All these people uh, gossiping about you, sending you negative energy, uh, putting black magic on you. And you still standing strong. You still hopeful. You still like, ah, and it's still happening for you. It's still fucking happening. You're still a free spirit. Somebody might have tried to to bound you here. You're still guided by your ancestors, and these people are still depressed. You're still being celebrated here. Look, this is you, the goat. You are the goat here. And look at these coyotes coming after you. You just minding your business here. Like I said, you, some of y'all don't even notice these people uh, sending you negative energy, these mentally unstable fucking psychos here, but... You're still the goat here. Look at these motherfucking coyotes ready to take whatever it is that you got, but they can't touch you here because you are being guided by spirit here. You are being guided by spirit universe God here, okay? And you guys are really connected, like I said, to spirit here. Whatever spirit somebody tried to put on you, that shit is you. They tried to put you on you, bitch. You versus you. They ain't realize that that is your ancestor that you connect with all the time or something, even naturally. Yeah, all these eyes on you. <laughs> That's funny. That's very funny. I feel like this is my pal, and it's even funnier. Um, But, yeah, um, anything else? What makes you stand out? What makes you guys stand out? Man, look at all these people fighting for your position. There's a lot of people. Somebody's really regretting. Somebody's really regretting gossiping about you putting magic on, trying to put magic on you um it's so many people fighting for your position here fighting for whatever it is that you do because you're chosen that's our ancestors yeah but your ancestors are helping you keep things to yourself here okay you guys are really just being guided here like i said you guys don't have to do anything um people are getting their ass kicked spiritually by you by your ancestors you are your ancestors it's almost like you are your ancestor. I don't know how to explain it, but you know how to make ju call judgment on people, okay? You are very powerful here. Uh, you are closest to, like, your strongest ancestor. I don't know how else to put it, but your strongest ancestor, high vibrational and low vibrational, you are connected to them. Strong. It's almost like you are them. <laughs> okay. I don't know how to explain it without confusing the hell out of y'all, but hope it resonates. Thank y'all. Bye. Top four, what makes you stand out? And I did do channel messages for each pile. I did pick up on a few names, a few places. They don't necessarily have to resonate. But I did pick up on a name, Carlos, Mimi, Dominique or Dominic, Evan. Evan can be somebody's last name. Thomas, that could be somebody's first or last name. I also got the name Paris here. That could be a place as well. Um, and the name Chrissy could be uh, significant here, okay? Um now, those don't have to resonate, okay? But what makes you stand out is you really be experiencing life here, okay? Other people, they're just here. They're not really experiencing life. You guys experience life. You guys do things. You guys want to feel things here, okay? Uh, some of you guys, you guys have started a bucket list or you guys are starting to travel, but you guys are starting to experience life. You guys don't want to stay in a box here. You don't want to stay in your small town. You don't want to stay in your house all the time. You are starting to experience life here. Somebody could be a Sagittarius. Somebody could uh, have a Sagittarius North Node here, but I definitely see you guys wanting to travel, to get out the house, to experience things here, okay? 
okay? You're doing what your soul really want to do, okay? Now, what makes you stand out is you've been this way, okay? Maybe some people are just now starting to want to experience life. Some people are just now starting to wake up. You've been woke. You were born this way. You've always been yourself here, okay? I'm also getting other people are starting to act like you. Like the things that you used to do five, ten years ago that people would call you weird for, people are starting to do it now. And it's like... I've been doing this, okay? I'm also getting you've always been on your own planet here, okay? You guys are definitely a trailblazer here. Uh, you guys could be a couple months, a couple years, a couple centuries ahead of people here, okay? But you guys are definitely a trailblazer. You guys are always in your own planet. You don't even care if what you've been doing goes out of style. You're like, I, yeah, I was doing it before it came into style, before it was a trend, and I'm a keep doing it, okay, um, I'm also getting, you guys are very, very sensitive, very sensitive, okay, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, okay, is what I'm hearing, I'm also getting, uh, you make people cry when they're wrong, okay, some of you guys, you might cry when you're wrong, okay, some people might make you cry very easily, like, I'm getting, some of you guys are really sensitive, uh, to the pack, to the fact where, like I said, if you get called out or, you realize you're wrong in a situation, you will cry. Others, others of you, you let people know that they're wrong in the situation and you might make people cry. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm also getting, like, the people you have connected with, anybody after you would be a downgrade here, okay? That's how special you guys really are. That's how much you guys really stand out, okay? You guys have a very strong personality here, like I said. So anybody after you, they're either really boring or they're just a downgrade here, okay? I'm also getting, you guys are very blunt. So you guys are blunt as fuck but sensitive as hell okay it's funny as hell like y'all just y'all come with the truth y'all blunt as fuck y'all tell it how it is but if somebody comes toward you your feelings might get hurt here okay but i am getting you sensitive but you're also blunt here okay um now i'm also getting some people like they never even really got the chance with you because you are the best thing that somebody never had okay i'm also getting some of you guys could literally be the one that got away i'm also getting something about your touch is really really different here okay your touch is very genuine to people so you might really uh caress people when you really like them okay somebody could be a tourist here okay your love language language could be touch here okay you're touching people that you like or things that you like or something here okay but yeah it's something about your touch is really different some of you guys may hold people somebody may do reiki here okay uh could be very healing as well but it's something about your touch here okay and some of you guys may put the finishing touches to things here because you're really um like um creative or something people may come to you to help them create things here uh for you to put the finishing touches to something that you do as well i'm also getting like uh, what makes you stand out is you're always improving yourself here, okay? You don't get stuck in any energy here. You're always improving. You're always upgrading yourself. You're always leveling up. I'm also getting some of you guys are living lavish, and some of you guys is pending because you're about to be living lavish here. Like, why am I getting big Taurus energy? Some of you guys are really Tauruses here, okay? Taurus rising, okay? Um, But, yeah, I'm getting, like, you guys are really manifesting this lavish energy, this lavish life here. Uh, some of you guys, you just naturally like that. Yeah, you're not trying to okay but i'm also getting somebody here could be a stoner um i'm also getting you guys are very gifted here something um like a, a gifted guy gave you here somebody could speak in tongues here but i'm getting like you're very very gifted here okay i'm also getting you can be lazy why somebody is a tourist this is like big tourist energy here somebody can be lazy here but you still work really really hard like when it's time to rest you're not doing shit <laughs> if it's not a day where you're working, you're like, yeah, if it's not a day that I got to put in work, I'm not going to do shit. So some people might think you're lazy, but <laughs> that makes you stand out in whatever way. OK, I'm also getting your imagination is super active, super, super active. OK, you guys are amazing manifestors. OK, I'm also getting you guys always seem to have good luck. People notice this. They see this and they want to be around you because of all this good luck that you have. And you guys seem to be manifesting or getting whatever it is that you want, even though you always look comfortable. Yeah. Um, what makes you stand out is you always look comfortable. Some people may think that the late, the comfortable is lazy, but really you're comfortable and you're still blessed here. So some people, like I said, they see you uh, having good as having good luck because they feel like you don't put in enough work and you're still getting all these things here. How? Because you're spiritually spoiled. You're blessed by God. You have good luck here. OK, Um, like I said, somebody almost is always in sweats here. OK, I'm also getting somebody can have a short 
a haircut here, okay? Um, that really makes you stand out if you have cut your hair short in any sort of way. I'm also getting, um, you're always there when people need you here, okay? People are always needing you for something, and you are always, always coming through. Now, I also see that you guys are very humble, but you still know that you want more, okay? You guys can be from a certain place, and you guys know, like, it's okay if I stop right here, but look, I want more out of life. I love it here. It's cool here. I love all my people here, but I want more. I want a lavish life, okay? So people, you stand out because you're still humble, but you still want more. So you don't make people feel bad for you wanting more and them kind of wanting to stay where they're at here. It's like, oh, y'all can stay where y'all at. We need somebody to do this or it's cool. It's, it's a part of your path. You good. But I'm going to go ahead and be rich. Okay. I also see when you're horny. You are a different person here. Like I said, y'all giving me like the calmest, cutest type of energy. But goddamn, when y'all get horny. Somebody better watch the fuck out because y'all y'all going to get what y'all want, okay? I'm also getting many, many, many people really want to be your friend. They really want to be your boyfriend. They really want to be your girlfriend. I'm just feeling like you guys are really closed off or you stay by yourself or you just like to be alone here. So it, it makes other people want to be in your world here. I want to be her friend. I want to be her best friend. I want to be his boyfriend. I want to be her, his girlfriend, whatever the case, okay? Um, but yeah. That's what makes you guys stand out. Now, let's get into it. What makes you guys stand out? Now, some of you guys are definitely entrepreneurs here, okay? What makes you guys stand out is you are self-made here, okay? You guys are true hustlers here. Some of you guys can have multiple uh, businesses, multiple hustles here. Like I said, it's almost like... You could have your own business or you could have like a, you could be self-employed in some sort of way. And it's like you have all this free time. You're still super blessed. But then when you don't feel like working or when you're not working, you take naps all day. Or you people looking at you like, damn, you got all this free time or that you're lazy here. But I'm getting most of you guys are self-made. You have side hustles. You have your own business here. And then when it's time to relax, when you want to take a break, guess what? You get to go to sleep here. You could do whatever it is that you want to do. And like I said, man. Maybe most people around you may work a nine to five. Some of you guys, you work a nine to five and you're deciding you don't want to do that no more. But like I said, maybe people around you may work a nine to five and you don't make them feel bad for not uh, wanting to be an entrepreneur or wanting to be their own boss. You're just like, oh, somebody got to do it, but not me. I'm going to stay at home and, you know, read cards whenever I can. I'm going to stay at home and be an artist and shit, put my shit on whatever the fuck, and then people are going to buy it from there. It's almost like that. So, like I said, it, people are seeing it from different perspectives here. I'm getting you guys are a boss, and then the people who are feeling like you're lazy, they just wish that they could um, be in that energy as well. And then the other people, they feel like you're very comfortable. Like I said, you see it's the same type of energy. It's just they're using different words. Oh, she just lazy. Lazy. No, you're just jealous because you got to go to work. And then, damn, you look real comfortable. Yes, ma'am, I am. And when you get off work, come chill with me, all right? It's almost like that, okay? I'm also seeing you stand out a lot because you are really, really loyal here, okay? You're very determined to do something, especially if you are self-made or you want to become more self-made here, okay? Um, also, you stand out because you took you are, uh, you are have a lot of courage here. Like I said, some of you guys, I feel like a lot of you guys are not working a 9 to 5. So a lot of you guys, you may have a 9 to 5, but you still are self-made in some sort of way, okay? You're doing something really courageous, though other people are not doing at this time here okay I'm also getting you stand out because um you guys are really really balanced here as well here okay um now I'm also getting like you guys used to be in a toxic relationship or you guys used to really connect like to toxic people here okay somebody's like obsessed with you y'all got people that are low-key obsessed with you what do these channel messages say yeah it's almost like the people who are like you're standing out to they might be obsessed with you they might be obsessed with your work here like I said some of you guys are entrepreneurs here and whoever's watching you they're obsessed with your work people are like damn uh, your your energy is very addictive or whatever you're doing is very addicting here um or it's very addicting to the eye okay but people are like always looking out for you to post your work or for you to do whatever it is that you do uh let's say oh somebody might sell drugs here <laughs> if you sell drugs people are always looking for you for that okay so take it how it resonates here okay but what makes you stand out is you guys are starting to soften up to love here okay or you guys have softened up to love here some people might have been angry at you you might have been angry at somebody here okay but it's like a lot of like 
Mars energy, anger, conflict. What makes you stand out is you guys used to be in a toxic relationship. Some of you guys are in a toxic relationship. Y'all be arguing. And people are like, damn, they already always fighting. <laughs> it's something like that, okay? Some of y'all, some of y'all have been in a toxic relationship. Some of you guys, it doesn't have to literally be over oh, dating. This could be like a mom, sister, brother, but there's some type of relationship that you are in, that you are connected to, um, that you may even talk about to some of to, to, for some of you guys. People want to hear about this a lot. Like, if you're in some type of toxic relationship, people like to hear about that as well, okay? Um, but also, what makes you stand out is you guys are being gra- uh, guided by your ancestors as well, okay? I feel like in the past, maybe this person took you out of your energy. Some of you guys are telling stories about how this person did this to you. Others of you guys, this person is no longer able to do this to you because you guys are now connected to your ancestors and you guys have become more grounded here, okay? It's hard for people to uh, make you mad. Maybe in the past, you guys used to be real, real angry, real, real mad. I feel like some of you guys had to release that, release some anger here, okay? I'm also getting, yeah, some of you guys, um, you guys are being haunted by something that happened in the past here. Others of you guys, people from your past are being haunted because they literally tried you or they did something to you where you had to detach from them or you had to turn up on them in some sort of way here, okay? Um, Now, some people... It's like they had a hard time telling if you were genuine, especially if you're an entrepreneur here. They had a hard time telling, like, are you genuine? Are you real? Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. But I'm getting like you are. You're very genuine here, okay, because you speak out on whatever it is that you do. But I'm also getting like you're speaking out on, you, 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 ooh, it's something that you've seen or you heard about or that you had to say that was really toxic to somebody here. Like you had, why am I feeling like y'all had to snap on somebody? Y'all had to get in somebody's ass. That's what makes you stand out when you snap on people. Clarify witness. Ooh, the devil tried to come out. What makes you stand out? Clarify witness. Something toxic. I'm also getting like it's a lot of people. Yeah, there was a lot of people watching you guys. These were a lot of toxic people. Or they were really connected to you, but at the same time, you guys are homebodies. Like I said, you guys either left a job, you guys left a place, or you left a person, and you guys became more homebody, and you guys connected with yourself more, and now you guys have leveled up, and now you guys have become more balanced here, like I said. So, yeah, somebody who is really toxic that you're in a toxic relationship with, business partnership with, uh, it could be anything. They're obsessed with you now here. This person is really, really toxic. Now they're mad at you or whatever the case, um, and somebody wants to speak something to you here okay somebody wants to tell you something or say something to you or some of y'all like I said I know this is what makes you stand out but somebody's just like watching you or really like in their head about you okay really pissed I'm also getting some of you guys somebody like is pregnant y'all got a pregnant person watching you guys some of you guys you are pregnant and you guys are getting drained here some of you guys are really um emotional and moody because somebody's pregnant Somebody feels really impulsive because of the baby inside of them. <laughs> and they be mad as hell. Yeah. And others of you guys, somebody's pregnant or you guys are creating something. Okay. You're birthing something. And you're making other people impulsive and very jealous. So take it how it resonates. If you're pregnant, somebody's really jealous about it. And they feel very impulsive because they learned this and then they want to fight. Either you or your partner, okay, which is so weird. And others of you, you guys have birthed something, okay? You guys are pregnant with some type of idea. You guys are entrepreneur. You guys are putting in work with something. It's you versus you, you versus the world, really. And there's somebody here who, like I said, is jealous and they feel really impulsive over what you have created or what you're starting to create here, okay? It's like, yeah, this person's an energy vampire, whoever this jealous person is, okay? Um, This person sees you as a leader here. But this is who, what makes you stand out. Yeah, some of y'all, what makes you stand out the most, like I said, you're very aggressive. Some of you guys are the impulsive one because you're pregnant. <laughs> um, and others of you guys, like I said, you guys are very hot-headed. <laughs> That's what makes you stand out. Um, also... What also makes you stand out is you're very stable here, okay? Somebody got sexy body here. Somebody's just super healthy or into very healthy things here. But why why is these people making y'all snap? Like, for the ones that are snapping. Why are my people snapping for my viewers? 
somebody might be snapping over some type of heartbreak, but this really, it may have caused like a lot of attention or eyes to be on you. Maybe somebody's like triggered you in a way where you have never acted this way. It's almost like somebody took you out of your energy here. But what makes you stand out is when you become really hot headed at people. To be having you fucked up. Good for entrepreneur. What makes you stand out? Yeah, and you guys show a lot of strength here, okay? You guys know how to end situations. Uh, but y'all's was a little more confusing than all the other ones, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what makes y'all stand out. Somebody here is when you get mad, you get big mad. Shoulda never did that. Get back. Let the fizzle wrath in a minute. All right, love y'all. Think about.